Welcome to the Pro Kitchen User Images video tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to take a quick look at how you, the user, can import your existing images or new images and use those in Pro Kitchen as textures on things like flooring and countertops and all that sort of good stuff. So, let's jump right in and check out the new Pro Kitchen User Images feature. So, I've got a basic little layout down here hiding underneath everything. And in this little layout, what we're going to do is we're going to import an image and then we're going to apply it to the layout. So to import an image, we want to go up to our settings and image collections. Under image collections, now I've our no, huh, I can't speak, but I have already set up a flooring um, folder here. Um, to set up a folder, you just right click, new folder, Double click to rename, and this could be, uh, let's do this. There we've got some flooring, and we've got some countertop images now. So, what I'm going to do is, you already have to have the images downloaded to your computer. I happen to have a couple here. And to import those images, we need to right click and go to New Image. And here we have to select our, where our images are saved. In this case, I've just dropped a couple onto my desktop. We're going to grab Image 2. That's a chunk of black flooring, and we're going to select it. Now, I've put that under Countertops. We're going to go here and we're going to do another new image on my desktop. I'm going to grab image number three. And now we can edit these images. You can do it at any time. So let's go in let's edit image number three. Edit. Um, here we can trim the left of the picture. We can take inches off the left if we need. Right, top, bottom, same thing. We can mirror it. We want to mirror to the left, mirror to the right, mirror to the top, mirror to the bottom. And then we can set our size. So the size of this sample I'm going to say is 24 by 24. And then we want to apply it. And there's our image. And escape on your keyboard gets you back out of that. And OK. So we're going to close this image. Now I'm going to change this countertop right here. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to the countertop. I'm going to go to attributes. Default texture is our standard that's going to match your countertop. Everything else, that's our default texture. We want to do a special texture. So we're going to go special and select. You've all seen this screen if you've used any of our textures. I'm going to go to User Collections. In this case, I want to do Countertops. And I'm going to put image number three on there. And we're going to hit OK. And just to make sure, OK. Now let's take a 3D. And here's our 3D image. And there is our user shape on the countertop. We don't like that user shape? Fine. Let's go get a, get a different one. Attributes, I'm sorry, not user shape, user texture. Special, select, collections. We're going to grab our image number one, which is our flooring image. That's one that I imported as well. And OK. And 3D. And there we go. 
So now you can use your user textures. You can set those for flooring. You can set those for wall colors. You can set those for countertops, backsplashes, pretty much anything that you can change the texture on. You can use one of our one of your user images for. So in a nutshell, that is how to create, import, and create your images into Pro Kitchen so that you can show them simply to a customer. Um, and you can import these from a picture. You can import these from a scan. You can scan a piece of tile or a piece of flooring and import that over. A um, piece of wallpaper, whatever it is, you can you can either um, use a scan, you can use an image, um, a picture, whatever it takes. You just have to have an image of that on your computer. Hey, you got a picture of yourself? You can drop that in there and you can use that as your image and you can have yourself on your countertop if you really want to. So it might be a little extreme, but it's certainly doable with the new Pro Kitchen user images. Thank you for watching this video demo.